time we're taking a trip to the Amazon rainforest. So The Last Forest is a new Brazilian film that just got released on Netflix. It's a cross between a documentary and a drama. And by that I mean it has documentary style moments of that sort of interview aspect. And then it also has staged moments which are kind of like your drama in a film. It follows the story of the Anamami tribe who are an indigenous community that live in the Amazon rainforest. And it shows their story which is them being threatened by... I guess, colonization and deforestation, gold prospectors, basically the white man ruining it for the indigenous community again. But it never gets to the point where it's propaganda, like, oh, white man bad, black man good. It's not like that. It is just a self-contained story about an indigenous community trying to just protect their history and their heritage and live the life that they want, you know, away from everything else, you know, and just trying to coexist with a world that's just changing around them at a rapid pace. This film is really, really good for one, so <laughs> we'll get that out of the way. The only thing people may have some trouble with when watching this film is the blurring of the documentary parts and the drama parts. It is only an English subtitle, so there's no English narration, so you really have to be focusing on who is talking and what is being said to really understand what's happening throughout. The great thing about the film is that there aren't any actors. The people in the film who are doing the drama sequences and the documentary sequences are actual Yanomabi people who are alive today, which is a really, really great way for the director and screenwriter. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. His name's Luis Bolognese or Bo Bolognesi. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name, but, uh, it's really great that he was like, you know what, we don't need actors, let's just get the real people who are willing to be part of this and let's film them, let's give them some direction, let's talk to them, let's find out what their beliefs are, what their stories are, and let's let them show it to us. Which is a really powerful way to make a film. It just gives it more weight, you know, more emotional weight behind it where you go, wow, these are the actual people. It's not just a documentary that is an exposition dump of things that have happened. This is a documentary slash movie and you have the actual people being themselves, basically. You know, they're telling you their stories and they're telling you about their legends and they're acting them out. And, you know, you see the relationships between the people and you see how they live and how they just want to keep their way of life alive for the future generations. Because there are obviously a couple of young kids in this one. There are a couple of, I guess, teenagers and mid-twenties type Yanomami people. And you go, wow, we really need to stop shitting on indigenous cultures, really. I mean, it's really bad here in Australia, for one. I'm sure it's just as bad in other parts of the world. But this is the kind of film that should hopefully open your eyes a little bit give you a bit more perspective and maybe a little bit more respect for the indigenous people who came before you in whichever country or whichever land you live in. Uh, this isn't a, <laughs> this isn't a propaganda video or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. It was just a really enjoyable, really quite short film too. It was only like an hour and 15 minutes, but it was just nice to watch something that had some emotional weight behind it that opened your eyes a little bit and gave you a better understanding or I guess a little bit more empathy for another culture that you may have not known about previously. So that's why I'm gonna give The Last Forest an eight out of 10. So tell me guys, has anyone seen The Last Forest? Comment down below, let me know what you thought about it. It's uh, cool to see some indigenous related films at the moment. I feel like we do get quite a few of them here in Australia. Um, at least we have been for the last, you know, how many years, it's been pretty cool. But it's nice to see some indigenous related films from overseas, you know, a Brazilian one. I would never have thought to even consider a Brazilian indigenous film. So yeah, that's the review guys. Hope you really enjoyed it. As always, click through to another video. We'll keep having some fun. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Just before I go, I am going to be going overseas next weekend uh, to visit my grandparents in Turkey. So the movie reviews might slow down a little bit while I'm over there but I've got some other videos that I might be making for you guys. So if there's anyone who watches my videos religiously, uh, there'll be some slightly different content coming out in the next few weeks, but I will do my best to keep up with it and maybe even watch some Netflix movies before I go and make another video for you. So until then, I'll see ya.